Hey everybody, it's Tammy with Nutmeg Notebook. So we're in Moab, Utah, and it's early morning. We're getting ready to go for a hike. We have an eight o'clock entry into the park. And I just wanted to show you guys kind of how things work for us when we're traveling. So I've been getting a lot of great response from our um, post about travel tips, how to eat plant-based while you're traveling. So here is the infamous uh, suitcase pantry. So here we go. Um, lots of stuff in here. And of, of course, I had it kind of neat and organized, but as you go, it just gets messier and messier. That's my, my oat breakfast bowl. That's your oat breakfast bowl. Some of our kitchen utensils. Mary's crackers. I've got tomatoes for when we cook in the Instant Pot. Um, here's Tom's breakfast rice. Batch prep. Batch prep breakfast. I have freeze-dried fruit. We have beans in the Tetra pack, which we're going to need to get more of. Um, we're at the, we're down to the garbanzo beans, which are my favorite, but not Tom's. Of course, we bring plastic bags with us. We have to use them when we're on the road. I have the Plant Pure Nations um, mm. meal starter kits. Those are so easy to make in the Instant Pot. Um, we have our rice. We have our um, oat milk powder from Joy. Uh, some snacks. Back here in the pocket is where I keep seasonings. So I like to bring the Well Your World seasonings. Um, this is the Costco seasoning, I think. What, what is this? Oh, no, this one is Mrs. Dash. So I just downsize and put them in smaller bottles. I have my um, bouillon from a local spicery. Um, oh, we need to do this oh, we before, need to our out hike. before our hike. We're going to do that. We have this before yeah. our hike. This is coming. Spin Boost, uh, the otherwise known as Beat. Well, the other version of this is Beat Boost, but this one's made for uh, athletic Exercise endurance, and, and we're going to be very athletic today. We're going to be very athletic today. Um, more rice that is shelf stable, already cooked. So you don't even have to heat this up. We just take this and um, put it over our salads so that we get some starch in our salads. So, and then, of course, we like to bring our zip-top containers um, as well as, well, that's more zip-top. And then the other brand, too, which I can't think of right now. because Stashers. Stashers, there you go. Popcorn, because we can <laughs> popcorn in, in those um, containers in our microwave. So, this particular hotel does not have a kitchen. We just have the refrigerator, and we have a microwave, and that's fine. We get along beautifully with just that. Okay, so I'm using the TV stand over here as my kitchen counter. So we went to the local food co-op last night and restocked, and they had Japanese sweet potatoes. You guys were so excited about these. We could cook them in the microwave or the Instant Pot, but we are going to save them and cook them in our Road Pro stove. So they actually, it plugs in in our car, and it cooks while we're driving and in the car smells like freshly baked sweet potatoes. It's fantastic. So, and it only takes a few hours. So we are getting our food ready to take with us on our hike today. So what we have is some baby spring mix and some spinach. And I, I could put that in my Hollywood bowl and chop it, but um, I'm just going to cut it with some, our scissors it should be here. There we go. We use these constantly when we're on the road. Those are so good to have. Ooh, this almost got frozen last night. Look, Tom. In our cooler? No, in the refrigerator here. Oh. I think you cranked it up. Oh, yeah, it's frozen. Well. Some of it's frozen. That's going to be kind of wonky. Okay. The uh, refrigerator was a little too cool. But, you know what? We're not going to waste it. We're going to go ahead and eat it. Yeah, I didn't know it was chop. in the fridge. I would have had it in the cooler. I would have known about that. If you would have known. You say you didn't know. Because our cooler is perfect temperature. It is perfect temperature. So just using the kitchen scissors and just to cut this up a bit. Um, it doesn't have to be chopped like a chopped salad for what we're doing today. This is something that we make a lot when we're hiking because it's very filling. If I was at home, I would make quinoa. 
Um, I should have brought quinoa with me because. Are you mixing them both in there, or are you yeah. using that to cut? Just, uh, just cutting this, and then I'm just going to put this in the bottom of the containers. Okay. And then and dump the other stuff on top. Uh -huh. I'll mix the other stuff up. So these are two quart corral bowls. I bring two of them because we can cook in them, we can mix in them, we can um, eat out of them. So they come in super handy. Um, they're lightweight. You know, they don't break easily, so they work really good for taking on the road. Okay, that looks good. And I've got a couple containers here. So I'm just going to give us a layer. And oh, I should have brought two of these. Wasn't thinking. Didn't. And so. You got zip top. We got zip Or you got top. my teapot. <laughs> so Tom uses this also to heat water up in the microwave. And that works really, really well. So, um, you know, if you're committed to eating healthy on the road, you can absolutely do it. Okay, so I showed you, I didn't save the box out here. I showed, I just showed you the Tetra packs for the beans. And so Tom um, went ahead and rinsed these for me already. And so we bring this little um, strainer, which works Great. Is that an OXO or? Yeah, it's an OXO. Yeah. It works perfect. And then, I'm not sure, we might need two packages of the rice. We'll see. But see, this is organic brown rice. Um, this is jasmine rice. It's already cooked. It's shelf stable. And the only ingredient is organic jasmine rice. What's it from look like? It has no oil and it has no sodium added. It's you a Lundberg. So yeah, that's you, you really have to um, look at these to see. Oh, I'm going to. That's need... enough for both of us. Yeah, I think it is. It's yeah, that's a lot. that's a lot. Yeah, that'll work. <clears throat> so I, I think I got these at a store called Nugget, where we live in California. Tom, I'm going to need that corn. Some. Okay, so this is a corn that we bought. I think this was in Nebraska. Yeah. Because we just restock as we go. Yeah, I was trying to get this little. Oh, that actually looks like this little bed. cooler, Coleman Extreme, and it's the. Uh, this is the best cooler you guys. Yeah, is it a fifty it's, quart, and it rolls like this little Coleman. Yeah, and it, it has thin walls, but it holds cold like it's a five day yeah. ice thing. And you see, it rolls like a rolling suitcase. Oh, they hold it. Okay. Right. And it's so easy okay. to use. Yeah, it's so that's fantastic. been the magic of our cold food success this trip. Okay. Then um, I think that's probably in the yeah, corn for both of us. On top of those greens, fine, because you're not real like wanting to load up on food when you're hiking. No, we don't. Okay, so then I have Well Your World, the Chili Lime Seasoning Blend. This is SOS free, and we're just going to sprinkle some of that on here because it adds a ton of flavor. Oh, these, yeah, I like those. These are pumpkin seeds. We're going to add those just because they add a little more protein and some crunch and then some flax ground flax seed because this is a good way to get it in when we're on the road i'm just going to dump that in that just helps keep everything regular and then this is purchased of course um salsa this is the green mountain gringo mild and it is the lowest sodium one that we have found for a prepared. So it has 85 milligrams in two tablespoons, but it will add a lot of flavor and not a lot of salt. So we're just gonna add some of that. And then of course I have my, I bring my favorite spatula. <laughs> Tom's laughing at me. She doesn't go anywhere without her favorite spatula. I love it. And then I'm just gonna stir this up. I'm told it keeps husbands in line as well. It does. I have fresh limes in the cooler and a little bit of cilantro too that I can add to this. So let me grab that. All right. Not the juiciest limes, but you know, just this adds just a lot of flavor. And it'll just taste so good when we're out on the trail. Okay. Dump those. Let's see how my cilantro is doing. Pretty good. I'm just going to take these scissors, 
cut it up. Even the stamps, the stamps taste good. I don't use them if they're really big, but these aren't too big. Just enough to add some freshness to the flavor. Okay, this is good. Then I'm just going to put that in the containers. So we also we have dish soap so that we can wash the dishes. We have the Instant Pot with us, so if the sink isn't big enough to get your container in, then you can um, use the stainless steel um, pot from the Instant Pot to run hot water in and then um, put your dish soap in there and use it as your dish pan. So it just works out really well. So I think this container is going to be yours because it has more in it. This one? I won't object. You're not going to object. I'm no. going to give me just one more little spoonful. Okay, this is going to be so scrumptious. Then what we do, we don't want to haul the big cooler with us every time we leave the hotel. And so show them this. Oh. that we're going to use. We have this little green, somewhat insulated bag, which holds things, you know, kind of picnic style. It does a good job with that foil lighting. It does. It works good for, you know, it's perfect for about four hours or so. And so then I'll just put the lids on. So we're getting our greens, our grains, our beans. And oh, it smells so good, you guys. And then we have our sporks which are spoons and forks. I think we got these at REI. And then we will just pop these into our back, uh, not in our backpacks, in that little cooler because we're actually gonna eat when we get back to the car. We have about a four hour uh, hike this morning. And then we have, um, we're gonna take these with us on the hike because this will be our snack um, at some point this morning. And so these are the quinoa banana oat muffins are our zip top containers and two of the muffins will fit down inside of here perfectly. See that? And then one of us will carry these. Oh shoot, I had my um, ground black cumin seeds. I'll add those to the um, dishes too. So I just browned black cumin seeds um, before we left home and put them in an empty local spicery jar so that we could still have that while we're out on the road. And then in this um, container, I have the Wellbean Hi, bars, snacks. and these are good hiking snacks along with organic dried um, fruit. So I have apricots and I think a bag of prunes in there. So we just always go prepared in case we're gonna get hungry. So that'll go in the backpack along with the muffins. Yeah, okay. I'll just take out two bars and uh, one pack of the dried fruit, just, you know, you just never know what's gonna happen when you're out hiking. Tom's already had breakfast. I'm still intermittent fasting, so I won't um, eat until we get closer to noon, but I'll have stuff with me that I'm ready to use. We've got our backpacks over here. We catch up. Um, catch up. We've got our backpacks over here. We'll just finish loading those up and- um, we'll in, my, be in my hat. And your hat. We'll be good to go. Then when we when we're done with our hike, once we get back to the car, it should be about lunchtime, and then um, we'll have our lunch. We're gonna go get a bag of ice and make sure everything's iced down good before we leave. So anyway, um, I hope that helps you guys. We've got lots of questions about how do you do this? Can you make a video? So here you go. This is the video. And we hope this is helpful to you. This is how we roll when we're um, away from home. And I'm Tammy. And I'm Tom. And we help you get, get healthy, healthy and stay healthy. One, one hike at a time. One hike at a time. Or one meal, meal at, at a time. time. On or the one road. hiking meal at a time. There you go. Okay, we gotta run. See you later. Bye.